Welcome to another episode of the OWL's YouTube channel. In this week's episode, we present an augmented reality application that OWL's developed in collaboration with the Ateneo Art Gallery to enhance the viewing experience for a particular painting. When we visit an art gallery and come across a particular artwork for the first time, it can sometimes be very challenging to decipher the meaning behind the different elements present in the artwork as well as the narrative being depicted by the artwork itself. As such, art galleries and museums have utilized a technology called augmented reality to provide visitors with a way to easily access more information behind the different artworks. Augmented reality, commonly known as AR, is a technology that allows us to see computer-generated images that are overlaid on top of the real-world environment, making users perceive as if they are actually part of the real world. Augmented reality has been used in a wide variety of fields, including entertainment, video games, task support, and especially education. Studies have shown that augmented reality has the potential to increase the learner's engagement and interest towards the topic being studied. In line with using augmented reality for education, OWL's developed an augmented reality experience for a painting currently being displayed inside the Ateneo Art Gallery called Earthly Desires. Earthly Desires is a painting created by Rodel Tapaya which features a lot of characters and creatures related to Philippine mythology, folklore, and history. During an interview with Rodel Tapaya himself, he shared with us his inspirations for the different elements in the painting as well as the story that he wanted to convey. We wanted to share these insights to future visitors of the Ateneo Art Gallery, which led to the creation of the Augmented Reality Experience. During the Augmented Reality Experience, users are presented with a sequence of visual animations that are overlaid on top of the physical painting, which are accompanied by voice narrations and sound effects to tell the story behind the different elements that are present in the painting. And people did believe in the power of Akimat to make the winds of fortune blow their way. There are accounts of Philippine freedom fighters, including Andres Bonifacio, carrying Akimat to their battles against their oppressors. Users view the augmented reality experience through a mobile device such as a smartphone or a tablet. Although users need to be inside the Atene Art Gallery, specifically in front of the actual painting itself, to view the experience as intended. Our hope is that viewing the augmented reality experience while being physically present with the painting will help develop a deeper appreciation towards the painting. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the Ateneo Art Gallery is currently closed to the public. Because of this, the experience is currently unavailable for viewing. Conducting a study on the effectiveness of the experience is also not possible at the moment. However, once the Ateneo Art Gallery becomes open to the public again, hopefully we will be able to make the experience available to visitors of the Art Gallery so that you will be able to try out the experience once things are better. That's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.